good morning guys welcome back to the vlog if you guys don't notice i am in a different location i am in korea now guys i'm so i'm so excited you have no idea just to give you guys a quick backstory we left jfk around like noon our flight was actually running late and the flight was 15 hours so we arrived in seoul at i think it was 7 p.m 7 p.m or 8 p.m which is like 5 a.m new york time and getting through the airport was really easy the only issue i had was actually getting a e-sim or a sim card for my phone for some reason my phone like at&t they locked my sim card so i was not able to actually get a sim card to stick in my phone so i had to get a battery pack not a battery pack a wi-fi pack and i was a little worried about it because the lady was telling me that the wi-fi packs are a little bit spotty because they're older but it seems to be working fine it's just something that i have to charge very often so i charged it overnight and i'm gonna bring like an extra battery pack to charge it but yeah we got to the hotel we fit all of our stuff in this van i don't know how we got 10 suitcases in there but we fit it all in we got to the hotel around i'd say 10 actually maybe like 9 30 because it took me like an hour trying to get everything with my phone fixed because i was trying to call at&t but i had to use my boyfriend's hotspot it was like a whole ordeal but we got to the hotel checked in and it's really nice i think my only issue is there's not like really any like closet space we have a small closet but there's no dressers or drawers for us to stick our clothes in and we're going to be here for two weeks so i wish they had a little bit more space in here but otherwise it's really nice they have a gym facility they have laundry on the spa they also have a cafe downstairs so very cute and yeah we went out to a convenience store last night to eat dinner and then we also asked the hotel to call a fried chicken place so we had fried chicken so that was really nice overall the first night was really good i actually am not feeling too jet lagged we are around 13 to 14 hours ahead right now in new york it's 6 10 and it's 7 a.m here so i woke up at 6 6 15. we actually just came back from the convenience store we went to this place called gs25 and here they have a lot of like buy one get one free so uh my friend got two of these this is like cold brew so i got that for my boyfriend and then i've been dying to try this ice cup with the coffee packet just ugh. so i got that i just got regular black coffee and i don't like to eat on an empty stomach so i got one of these pineapple fruit cups and then i also got some bananas for my boyfriend and then i just got some um orange juice so i think i'm gonna need to intake a lot of vitamin c so i don't feel like sick or anything but all of that came to eight dollars which is like really good and if you like exchange that it's like six or seven dollars usd so very good i'm gonna go to the gym later it is 7 12 right now and the gym opens up at seven and i had like this pimple it was like a whitehead but i think just with the plane being so dry it just made it brew so i think we're going to go to all of young today and I think I'm gonna pick up some acne spot like treatment because this, that's gotta go. I also brought my vanity mirror so that way I can do my makeup in peace. But the lighting in here is actually really nice. I'm sitting in front of a window right now and the lighting in the bathroom is pretty good. The bathroom is actually really cute. But I do need to go to Daiso today to buy like a washcloth because the only washcloths they had here were basically hand towels and i can't wash my body with something that big so i'm gonna buy one of those little loofahs today I'm 
this is the one I got, just black. They did have like a hazelnut one and stuff, but I just want a black one with no sugar right now. Wow, that's perfect. I don't know how good these are going to be. That's not too bad. Mmm. It tastes good. It tastes like coffee from like a coffee pot. Like a, <clears throat> if that makes sense. Oh, I need this to bring me back to life. But yeah, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to head down to the fitness center. But I think our plans for today is to go to Myeongdong, which is like more of a touristy area. Guys, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so grateful that my boyfriend got this trip for me for my birthday. I'm so excited. It feels surreal, but yeah. I'm going to chat with you guys later. So we're staying at the Ahmed Hotel and this is located in Chongno, and, which is in Seoul and there are so many things to do in this area. I think that this is great for tourists, especially if you are traveling here for the first time. The area was very artsy. They also had a lot of shops that were great for souvenirs and gifts. So the shop that we went into is called Bling Box. I noticed that this is kind of like a franchise around Korea. So a bunch of accessories, hair accessories. I picked up one hair clip and one pair of earrings just because I didn't want to go crazy guys this was the first store I went into but and this district still had a lot of traditional buildings I think this is what this district is known for so when you walk down the alleyways you could see a lot of that traditional architecture so this is actually where one of the first restaurants that we ate at was so we had sujebi which is like hand-torn noodle soup we actually got the spicy one and we also got a side of the seafood pancake guys this was so good and the fresh kimchi was absolutely amazing and then just about like maybe five minutes down the street not even we went to this cafe they had a gallery at the bottom and the cafe was on top. So where our hotel was, if you walked out of the hotel and then made a left and just walked straight down the street, this is everything that I'm showing you in the video. That's where it's located. I actually really liked where our hotel was because everything was so close by and all of this stuff was probably like 10 minutes walking, but it was all on the same street. So it didn't feel like you were walking forever, which I really liked. So our next stop was Myeongdong, which guys, I was so excited to go here. I've watched so many vlogs of people shopping on the Myeongdong shopping street and I was just ecstatic. So this shopping street was actually probably like a 15, 20 minute walk. 
and it had so many stores the first store that i went to was called eight seconds it's kind of like h&m and then of course i had to go to olive young it was actually really busy in here so it was kind of hard for me to shop i didn't have a list of what i wanted and also a lot of things were sold out so i didn't actually end up buying anything at olive young and then we went to a few more stores it got a little hectic because we went with another couple and we ended up kind of getting separated and lost there was just a lot of confusion so i felt like we spent half of the day trying to find each other but we just went into a few other stores around the area this one had like a lot of unique kind of streetwear pieces this place is called a land and they actually have a store in brooklyn so if you guys are interested they do have one in new york we just kind of shopped around i didn't buy too many things this day because i didn't want to buy everything on my first day i really liked myeongdong street they had so many stores there that i wanted to visit and i definitely went back the next day but i really liked myeongdong so after we finished in Yongdong, we actually went to Hongdae and we stayed at the hotel for maybe like two or three hours because guys, we walked so much. So we took the subway here and this area is kind of like St. Mark's in the city, I would say. There is a university, so the nightlife is very big. There's like a clubbing street. They have a lot of outdoor like clothing shops, a lot of restaurants, and we decided we wanted to get Korean barbecue because we did not get Korean barbecue the first night. So my friend found this samgyeopsal place and I was really excited to try it. I was so excited to try Korean barbecue in Korea because here it's just barbecue. I really loved this like container that they had around the grill so that way the oil didn't splash on you so I thought that was very innovative and we actually did have somex so we had beer and soju I'm not a big beer person so I ended up just having the soju and the guy ended up cooking all of the food for us I think we got about four or five servings it also came with a lot of banchan so a lot of sides it came with perla leaves um, regular like lettuce so you can make wraps it also came with scallions, garlic, and then like the Korean green pepper. And then it also came with soybean paste soup. Food was really good. I honestly wish we would have went back here a second time, but we wanted to try new places. And we also ended up getting like a kimchi fried rice at the end. So it was really good. I think this whole meal came to, I don't know, like $80 for four people which is like insane for Korean barbecue. And plus in Korea, there is no tax or tip. So, oh my God, the price was just amazing. After we were done eating, we ended up walking around and I was really surprised at how lively it was because this was a Monday night. Like it was really busy. I think at this point it was probably 11 or 12. And we ended up doing a photo booth. There were photo booths everywhere i've seen this one on tiktok and basically like you go into the photo booth and you have to look up at the camera this was actually really fun to do so i think we did one in like this red room and we also did one in a blue room so we just ended up walking around and before we actually went to korean barbecue we spotted a place called AA. Yeah, it was called AA Place and they just had a ton of clothing and accessories. They had both men and women's clothing and the prices were honestly, they were almost like dirt cheap. But yeah, we uh, went around in here and this place was open until I think 2 or 3 a.m. I think when we were shopping in here, it was like 1 a.m. But we did some shopping. I also did some shopping at some of the stores like around the area. But yeah, that is it for night one. We ended up just grabbing a cab because the subways here close at 12. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys for day two.